I'm Mari Silby and I'm here at the Cable Center in downtown Denver, Colorado at the Cable Next Gen Technologies and Strategies Conference. And I'm here with Buddy Snow, who is Chief Revenue Officer with ASIA. And we're here to talk about wireless networks and the in-home Wi-Fi experience. And particularly, there's so much video streaming that's going on now. There's so much, so many, the speeds are getting so much faster to the home. Is it time for the in-home Wi-Fi networking experience to catch up? Absolutely. Cable operators in particular have been wonderful about adding increasing broadband to the home. The race to gigabit is on, it's, it's going global. This is great for consumers, but nobody's really thinking about the investment in the wireless network inside the home. And in fact, that's gonna be the bottleneck going forward. It was not designed for gigabit speeds. So what are they gonna do? Yeah, so then tell us about ASIA. Who do you work with? Who are your customers? What are you hearing from them? Absolutely. Well, ASIA has a long history in helping um, internet service providers get their broadband networks more reliable and more and faster in order to improve the quality of experience in the home. Well, that's great, but now with Wi-Fi coming to the front, we've invented a, a new software product called uh, CloudCheck that helps the Wi-Fi network in the home be also fast and reliable and live up to the promise of gigabit broadband to the side of the house. We're talking about quality of experience here, but at the same time, how do you balance the quality of experience issue while at the same time trying to contain costs? Because that's a big issue for operators. What we've found talking to our customers is that about 50% of all the calls into the call center now are related to Wi-Fi. Perceived problem or real problem does not matter. Right. So at this point, the operators are losing tens of millions of dollars a year in supporting a network that makes them no money. And worse, it's not managed. It's their worst nightmare. They manage the router, but anything hanging off the router, in, which is the entire home network, and up to eight to 10 devices, all streaming things, is completely invisible to them. This is very scary. Right. And so we've invented a platform that gives them not only control of that Wi-Fi network, but the ability to automatically optimize the performance, so no human intervention is required. But beyond that, we have an analytics engine in the cloud that takes all the data that we capture about what's going on in the home and with the devices and the usage of the bandwidth and provide an expert system that helps the CSRs and the field techs, the experts themselves, in figuring out what the problem is and getting a quick resolution to it. Okay. And this is how we're going to help our customers save a lot of money. So you've talked about your solution as a software solution. Is that different from the other Wi-Fi optimization solutions that are out there? Absolutely, it's different. We took a very different design approach from the beginning. We understood that we needed to work across everything out there, which means we had to be hardware agnostic. So we're the only pure software solution on the market today. Everybody else is addressing the performance issues in the home with hardware. Makes perfect sense because again, they're trying to have a great wireless network inside the home. Our mission is broader. We look across all the households. One of the interesting things that that does for our customers is then it gives them a view across their entire geographic region or network footprint, and they can start to see interesting trends across households. Hmm. The other thing that that does is there's a big problem in MDUs or apartment buildings, high density living places. There's a lot of interference among the networks, a lot. And it's a major problem that all everybody talks about on the customer side. So having our software running across all of the units gives them a, whole, you know, a holistic and a homogeneous way to address all that. So they can actually manage between units. This turns out to be very, very good for, for the operator and for the subscriber. So there's there are a lot of companies out there that are looking for ways to improve the performance in that Wi-Fi network, but it sounds like this is, this is bigger than that in that it's more of a customer service solution. Again, if all of those calls coming in are costing tens of millions of dollars, this sounds like the type of solution that you're using to empower the field operators. Absolutely. There are actually lots of companies addressing that just inside the home, that one network, optimizing performance from station to station, from router to router, repeaters, mesh networks, you know, self-optimizing networks. There's lots of acronyms going around, of course. This is what people like to do in this industry. Sure. But what, what they're not addressing is, there's a lot of data comes out of that and they're, they don't know what to do with it. I, every customer I, I talk to says two things. My, my Wi-Fi customer care costs are killing me and I have a lot of data, but I don't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. So we basically, and it's a buzzword, but we have a big data algorithm crunching server in the cloud that takes all that data and it's also historical. So we're able to look at everything that's been going on over a period of time mm -hmm. and with the historical, we learn. So we do two things. We optimize the performance, but we also are able to predict 
when things might be about to happen. Mm -hmm. And we can send notifications to the CSRs in particular, or even to the subscriber, the, the operator can do that and say, hey, it might be time to upgrade your router. Would you like to do that? Right. Hey, did you know that you're not, your, your Wi-Fi network is so good, you're actually not taking full advantage of your broadband capability. Would, would you like upgrade to your service? So it's more than just fixing things, it's more than monitoring, it's more than analysis. It's about taking control of the Wi-Fi network and making it work for you as the operator. And ultimately, the subscriber gets um, a boost in satisfaction because performance is good, but when they do have to talk to the operator, the interaction is crisp, it's very productive, it's very pleasing, and so the satisfaction rate's gonna go much higher. Right, so that, that brings up two points, which is one, containing uh, customer churn, but then it also sounds like there might even be new revenue opportunities in there or new ways to build more revenue off of those subscribers. Absolutely. You know, the funny thing about Wi-Fi networks, the router is the most important device in the, in the current digital home, and it's the most mysterious. Nobody knows anything about it. They put it in there, they unwrap it from the retail box or if it comes from the operator, they turn it on, they forget about it. They don't want to touch it, it's like it's a shrine. So. We have to take the mystery out of that and, and allow the operator to not only make it a solid performing network, which is really a service, mm -hmm. right? Because everything's going wireless in the house now. So then it's a service, but then beyond that, so we have, to, we have to crawl before we walk. And so crawling says, let's get control. Let's make sure it runs well. But once you do that, you now, with our system, CloudCheck, you have a platform. It's a software platform where you can start building in features mm -hmm. of the router that so far to date, have, nobody's taken advantage of. The routers are incredibly capable devices. They're very capable, but nobody's using the features. Okay, so then tell us near term at least what happens. What happens in 2016, both in the industry and then also with Aussie in particular and potential deployments that you see in the near term? Absolutely. You know, for the first time in my 25 years in this industry, every customer has the identical problem statement. It's never happened before. Based on all the kind, and we're, it's a global phenomenon. This is certainly not concentric to the, the North American market. Everybody is talking about Wi-Fi this year. The problem is understood, so it's not a problem statement issue. The question is, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that every tier one operator in the world will at least make a decision in 2016 about what they're going to do, okay. if not actually start deploying up. I already know from our own customer interactions, there's definitely deployments coming this year. Ah, good. That's a, that sounds like a good place to wrap up. Well, I'm Mari Silvi again here at the Cable Next Gen Conference with Buddy Snow, Chief Revenue Officer of ASIA. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.